In all land vertebrates which possess a hip, there are three separate bones which compose this hip. The ilium, which is the large bone facing superiorly, and then two inferior bones, the pubis, which faces forward, and the ischium, which faces backwards. So the pubis is the anterior of the two bones, and the ischium is the posterior of these two bones. These fuse early in life to form the one single hip bone known as the os coxa. The lateral view of the os coxa shows the obturator foramen, the largest foramen of the body, the acetabulum, which is the socket for the head of the femur at the hip joint, the iliac crest, which is the superior border of uh, the ilium, the ischial tuberosity on the ischium bone uh, to which the hamstrings attach, and two processes on the anterior surface of the ilium for muscle attachment, the ASIS or anterior superior iliac spine and a IIS, the anterior inferior iliac spine. On this medial view of the os coxa, the side that does not show the acetabulum or hip socket, one can observe the iliac crest, the superior border of the ilium, the anterior superior and anterior inferior iliac spines for muscle attachment, the ASIS and the AIIS, the obturator foramen, the ischial tuberosity for hamstring attachment, which faces posteriorly, the auricular surface, here in yellow, which marks the sacroiliac joint, where the sacrum attaches to the ilium so that the legs can support the weight of the rest of the body. And then finally, between the auricular surface and the ischial tuberosity, lies the greater sciatic notch, the lesser sciatic notch, and between the two, the small ischial spine. The two hip bones, or os coxae, join to the sacrum, forming the sacroiliac joint. This allows the hip and the legs to support the weight of the vertebral column and the rest of the body. It is because of this sacroiliac joint that the legs can support the body as we walk upright. The two pubic bones are joined by a band of fibrocartilage known as the pubic symphysis.